Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael, helping you get the most out of your Apple devices. And today I wanna to talk about iOS 12 and more particularly the beta release schedule. So uh, before I start the video, just forgive me, I am on vacation here, so I don't have the best setup. I'm not in the studio and uh, there might be some birds chirping and some uh, you know, some banging and clanging in the background. Just forgive that. I uh, will be on vacation here for the next three weeks. So uh, luckily I did bring my better audio recorder, so at least the audio will sound okay. But uh, just forgive the uh, the kind of uh, you know DIY setups in the meantime. Anyway, in this video I wanna talk about the release schedule for iOS 12 betas. So as you may remember, iOS 12 beta 6 came out just one week after beta 5, and uh, we are now down to a week by week release schedule. And now iOS 12 beta 6 is now six days old. So that means that tomorrow in the morning, we should be seeing iOS 12 beta 7. So in this video, I just want to talk about uh, some bug fixes and changes that we should expect to see. So in my previous video, I was talking about some GPS glitches that I was having on iOS 12 beta 6. Uh, in particular, a uh, flight tracking application that actually connected you uh, to a GPS when you were actually in the air on an airplane. And um, when, I opened, when I opened the app, it asked if it wanted to track my location always or only when I'm using the application. I chose only when using the app, but even if I killed the application in the background uh, like this, it would still be tracking my location. So apparently that uh, setting did not go through in the operating system. So uh, there might be some issue with the code or something. And uh, it'd be an easy fix because usually that's a battery drain when an app is tracking your GPS location and you don't want it to. So that could be an easy fix. I've also been having some glitches in some applications where uh, the time on the top left would overlay with my carrier text and I haven't uh, been able to get it to replicate on video. But as you can see there, the carrier text is on the top left in control center. Then on your home screen, the time is up there. And sometimes it's a UI UX error. And um, in the application, it takes about two seconds to correct itself where it goes back to the time, but it would show you know, AT&T there on the top left for about the first two seconds. So a few UI UX errors here and there, but the performance and battery life on beta six uh, has been pretty good. So uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow we are gonna be seeing beta seven. I am pretty confident that we'll be seeing that. Um, I will have a video release showing you all the changes that are new, so stay tuned for that. Uh, anyway guys, tell me in the comments what your experience has been with iOS 12 beta six. Uh, other than that guys, I will see you tomorrow for the video on beta seven. My name is Michael, I'll see you tomorrow.